Good evening, everybody. Um, I asked an important question, I thought, for this uh, award, and I'm so grateful for this award, award from UNAM. Uh, and I'll get into that a little bit later, but what does it mean to be the distinguished alumni of civil engineering at the University of New Mexico? Uh, I asked myself other questions, too. How did you apply your education? Can you be successful just relying on yourself, which is a big no. Uh, you have other people that you need. And is continual education and self-study important uh, as you move through your career? I looked at my early career and I uh, had the encouragement and support of my parents uh, to influence a lot of my decision making as a civil engineer. My dad was a civil engineer and so that, uh, that, that was uh, pretty inspirational for me to continue in that area. I also uh, received a great civil engineering education from the University of New Mexico. Uh, that's uh, first and foremost to be able to do this. Uh, I had, the other piece you have to do is select where and how to apply your education. I chose public service. Uh, my first job uh, as a professional was, uh, was at the Army Corps of Engineers on my 22nd birthday. And that, that message was people first, mission always. And it's something that I carried with me throughout my career. Um, I had a lot of mentoring and support from senior engineers to learn and develop engineering expertise. And I got my professional engineer's license as early as possible, which I think completed the package. I also uh, looked at, uh, and in, to do well in any area, you have to develop a passion for your chosen career field. I developed a passion for water resources and a focus on providing excellent customer service. Uh, in mid-career, uh, I, I looked at uh, trying to develop and I had to develop a network of mutual support in my chosen field. Obviously, peers, coworkers, and the public, uh, and of course, continued family support. Uh, continuous education and self-study to stay relevant. I actually took, a few years later, took classes at the University of New Mexico's Master's in Water Resource Program, which really helped lay the foundation for my interest in water policy and work for the Office of the State Engineer. Uh, I was at a cabinet level work for four different governors, and I worked on the most challenging local, regional, and national water policy issues and infrastructure projects anywhere in the United States uh, with the Corps of Engineers. Uh, the ability to inspire people and organize uh, and organizations to work together, establishing coalitions with all stakeholder groups, and that's extremely important. Uh, business community, environmental community, agriculture, acequias, uh, municipal and industrial, tribal, uh, tr tribes, nations, and pueblos in the state of New Mexico and other areas, and then uh, non-government organizations. Establishing mutual trust through open and honest communication, and really internal and external uh, to the organization. You can't uh, put a, a more of an emphasis on that communication. Late in my career, again, the mentee, and I was a mentee for a lot of years, so I became the mentor. And really, true leaders don't create followers. They create more leaders. Uh, formal and informal mentoring throughout uh, my last uh, probably 10 years, which has really been valuable to me to transfer that, uh, that knowledge that I obtained from so many outstanding engineers in the field when I grew up. And I think it's time to give back to the University of New Mexico. It's been a pleasure to stay involved at the University of New Mexico with the civil engineering program, which continues to turn out great engineers. Uh, the civil engineering department advisory board I've been on since 2010. I wanna thank Professor John Stormont and Professor Mahmoud Taha for their endless work on making the university such a great place. And I'm also on the external advisory committee for the University of New Mexico National Science Foundation, the Crest Center for Water and the Environment since 2014. Professor Kerry Howe has just done a fantastic job for the university in that area. And I, I'd like to close here. I really want to thank Dean Christos and the UNM School of Engineering for the Distinguished Alumni Award. I also want to thank uh, my former classmate and mentor, Brian Burnett, for his continued support. Uh, he, he's especially uh, it was involved in the Governor's Blue Ribbon Task Force uh, for several years on water issues and his private sector knowledge and influences was really important uh, for, for my policy setting as I was a state engineer and, and uh, trying to coalesce the public and private sector and how we move forward. I also want to thank my former UNM professors, uh, Professor Martinez, Professor, former Dean Gerald May, for their uh, inspiration and support through the years. And I, I never could have accomplished everything without the continued support and contribution 
uh, from my dedicated co-workers and peers. And my ultimate gratitude goes to my partner of 35 years, Cassandra, who has always been my inspiration and support, and this person that has truly sacrificed for my career and our family. And lastly, I want to thank my family and friends for attending tonight, and thank my niece, Risa, a recent graduate from UNM with a Master's of Science degree in Civil Engineering, for her, her help with this video. So thank you, everybody. I really appreciate it. And go Lobos!